As long as there have been cars, there have been models that go the extra mile when it comes to perks and performance. For many, the car they drive is a measure of their personal success, and you don't get much more successful than a Rolls Royce. These cars start with a hand-welded aluminum body shell that's rigid yet lightweight. Workers handcraft the components for the lavish interior. This gadget stitches wooden sheets together with glue. The veneers have been cut from the same piece of wood. They match the grain so each side is a mirror image of the other. The technique is called book matching and the look is seamless luxury. There are 40 or more solid wooden parts in the interior of the rolls. These ones are for the dashboard. They hand finish each of these parts. They meticulously polish the wood with special paste to enhance the grain. A lacquer job puts a shine on the woodwork. They scrutinize leather for any natural defects and mark them in white. They'll work around those blemishes, so no imperfections will be visible on the interior upholstery. It will take as many as 18 hides to make all the seats, panels, and consoles. They carefully stretch leather pieces onto various components and set the fit with a dryer. Ensuring the sewn leather parts conform to all the curves and crevices on the door panels can be a bit tricky. But these workers, some of them former saddle makers, are expert at the job. They mount the upholstered leather parts to the car interior and secure them tightly with screws. They fit handles and control panels into the tailored slots. Next, they attach switches, wiring and other controls to the instrument carrier. This framework has been crafted from a single piece of magnesium, so there aren't any squeaky joints. The imposing radiator grill has a purpose besides bringing in cool air. It houses the signature hood mascot and its automated platform. They test the platform to confirm that it rises and retracts. Then they mount it just under an opening at the top of the grill through which the car mascot will be able to rise. They check the spacing around the cover for the opening to make sure there's enough room for things to run smoothly. The mascot is called the Spirit of Ecstasy. With the mascot in proud position, they're ready to assemble the mechanics of the rolls. So stay tuned. This Rolls Royce is looking good. The body shell has the long lines of luxury. It's been equipped with flawless leather upholstery and elegant wooden paneling. Plush and posh, this car is now ready for some serious engine power.
It's bumper to bumper opulence at this factory as these cars queue up to receive their engines. They install soundproofing material on the floor of the car to muffle engine noise. Then they run the wiring loom along the length of the vehicle. This is the nervous system of the car. It transmits huge amounts of information to help run the engine, transmission, even the car's entertainment system. Next, they hoist the engine and transmission system onto a large metal platform. This V12 engine has 400 plus horsepower. With the engine system on the platform, they complete the assembly and make some adjustments. It's time for the engine and car body to become one, so they call this the marriage. It's a dramatic sight, as the platform rolls the engine down an aisle to be joined in mechanical matrimony. The platform lifts the engine into the cavity of the car. They secure it with bolts. They lower the platform and it retreats to receive an engine for the next car. They double check the installation and mark parts with yellow to confirm that they've been fitted. The engine now installed, it's time for this car to move on to the next steps. They mount the instrument control panel to the dashboard and cushion it on top with upholstered leather. Next, they fit the stunning veneer paneling around the dashboard controls. They install the headlining, made of cashmere and wool. They check the hydraulic coffee cup holders in the rear of the car, but it's not quite time for coffee yet. They install two batteries, one for the engine, the other for the cabin controls. They fasten a rocker cover to the engine to stifle any noise. They hook up a large air intake system because optimum engine function requires a lot of airflow. There'll be no fingerprints on this windshield. After they wipe it clean, they use a pulley system with suction cups to lower it onto the car. They tape it to allow the adhesive to set and measure it to ensure a perfect fit. Next, they install the wheel arch liners. These hefty guards will protect the car body from mud, gravel and debris. Finally, they mount the wheels. And this car is ready to roll with the high rollers. It takes several weeks to assemble a Rolls Royce, compared to the day or two it takes to manufacture an ordinary vehicle. That's why one of these will set you back a princely sum. But if you have a big rainy day fund, this could be one way to spend it. <laughs>